Hello and a very warm welcome to you from the Haogang Stadium. It is the final day of the 2020 Singapore Premier League season. Haogang United are playing Alborex Nagata. Why is this a massive game? Well, Alborex are leading the table on the final day and are in pole position to take the 2020 SPL title. Haogang are not in contention for anything now, and that's because they lost to Balasakalsa on the previous match day when they were hoping to get into contention for the final AFC Cup spot. This is how the table stands. Just one point separates Albrecht's Nagata and Tampines Rovers in second. Champions League has already been decided. Tampines are on the way to the big, big leagues next year. Lion City Sailors are also confirmed. It's between Balasakalsa and Gelang International for that final spot. Gelang are playing Tampanese in the Eastern Derby and uh, Balas Chakalsa, well, they'll be hoping they can do the business as well against Lion City Sailors who effectively have got nothing to play for. Young Lions are also up against Tanjung Paga United. That is for the wooden spoon. So pretty much all the games today have got something on the line. So, plenty to talk about, plenty to get through today with all the action uh, coming up. Let's hear from the men in charge very shortly. But first, we talk about some of the key players. Farhan Zukifli, the youngster, 18-year-old, coming in today. Got a goal last season, got a goal this season. He's a one to watch out for. The club certainly feel he's a key player. And he'll be delighted to have started today in the final match of the season. Farhan Zukifli. Always good to have someone coming through the ranks. And uh, Haogang are uh, very good at that and very keen to see him continue with them. Albrecht's Nagata, Tomoyuki Doi has got 11 goals. He needs four to overtake Stipe Plazibat and be the golden boot winner for the 2020 season. He has been in hot form, scored two goals in the uh, last game against Tanjong Paga. One right at the end in the 93rd minute, so that has helped his tally. And I'm sure he'll be looking to try and get... Well, four is going to be hard, isn't it? It's a big, big ask. The last player from Albrecht to be a top scorer was Shuhei Hoshino. Now, we're going to look more towards uh, the start of this game first. Let's hear from both teams. Coach, uh, last game of the season, what are you expecting from your players today? Uh, as per what they have been playing all through the season, yeah, uh, nothing will change. Uh, definitely, uh, um, we will we'll do our best, and uh, which uh, they have been doing ever since we came back uh, from our game against Ballester. So uh, nothing has changed, nothing will change. With nothing at stake today, do you feel that Haogang can do better than in recent games because the pressure is off? Uh, sorry, uh, pride at stake. Yeah, definitely pride at stake. I mean, look, we, we uh, easily we could just say, okay, fine, it's the last game of the season. Whether we win or we lose, we will still be where we are. Uh, uh, I think that is the wrong mentality. So uh, we definitely will be uh, playing for a lot of pride. Uh, and definitely to to uh, to stop the losing streak. Streak that uh, we are going through right now. Getting the three points today will ensure that the league title goes to Abirex. How big is today's game? Uh, as you know, this is uh, the biggest match uh, for us in this uh, season. And uh, we are still in title race, but uh, this is a uh, away game, so it's going to be a very tough game today. How do you ensure that your team stays focused on the task at hand? Well, uh, actually, uh, it's not decided yet. So we will talk to players. Uh, we have to be hungry and uh, we have to focus on this game. And uh, getting the win today would mean Albirex winning your fifth title in five seasons. What would that mean to the club? Uh, we, we still haven't got title yet. Uh, so after game, maybe <laughs> I will speak to you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Coach. Thank you very much. So good to hear the thoughts then of uh, from both sides. And uh, it's a shame, of course, that uh, Haogang United, after all the heroics of last year and being involved in the AFC Cup as well, 
for this season. That got curtailed. COVID has also affected, of course, the contracts of their two foreign players, uh, Zach Anderson and uh, Charles Mitchell, and they've left the club. So it, uh, it has affected things for sure. And they now languish effectively in the lower part of the table. But on the positive sides, Albrecht's Nagata looking to add to their fourth title. Remember, they dominated local football 2016, 17, and 18 when they want everything on offer. And I mean everything. And, uh, well, this year there is only the league title up for grabs. No League Cup and no Singapore Cup as well. Unfortunately, with all that's happened. But, uh, of course, very happy everyone is, uh, at least, that we have got some kind of season that we can try to complete this year with uh, just two rounds, of course, and no Brunei DPMM who've had to sit things out because of COVID-19. But Albrex will be keen. I'm sure there'll be some nerves. We'll also be keeping close touch with what's going on at our Tampanese hub in the Eastern Derby. And in a way, of course, that's a harder match. Not only is it a derby, no love lost between the two Eastern clubs, but Geelong do have a place in Asia to fight for. And Alga really don't have that much, apart from, of course, getting as many points as they possibly can. Here are your officials for today. The referee is Jeremy Zaiton. He is assisted by Jay Ashraf Raj. Mohammed Hilmi Fouad. Being led out right now, this Haugang side with the skipper there, Fabian Kwok, the home side here. Nice for them to be back, of course, at Haugang Stadium, but they haven't won. Two successive games, have a long, long time. The record isn't great at the moment. They're not really concerned about that. I'm sure they'll want to try and do, well, what they want to do, a favor for Tampanese Rovers. A draw may be enough. They'll, I'm sure, want to try and go for a win. Albrecht's Nagata have been so good in recent years, haven't they? Nine wins, two draws, two losses, 31 goals scored, 14 conceded. One loss in their last five games, and that includes a 4-1 hammering they received at the hands of Tampanese Rovers. What a turnaround that game was. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the EIA Singapore Premier League. Let's do it once again for Everett Liga Singapore and Haugang United. There is a problem, of course, for Haugang. They're missing the services of the young Kyrgyzstani centre-back, Maksat Jakubaliev, who's serving a one-match suspension after accumulating uh, four yellow cards. Also, Justin Hui, who scored in that previous game, opened the scoring for Haugang. 
he is on the bench. In come Nazrul Nazari, the Singapore international. And as I mentioned earlier, Farhan Zukifli. For Albrecht's Nagata, well, why spoil things if it ain't broke? They are going with the same starting 11 today as the one that defeated Tanjong Paga just a few days ago. And uh, Faris Hassan there will be up against his old club, his former club, Faris Hassan. So it's the title at stake for Albrecht's Negata. Pride here for Haugang United. They'll want to win. They'll want to finish on a winning note. And KG Segatomi could be part of that winning team in a couple of hours from now. We'll have to wait and see how things go. As that is lofted right to the back. Forward by Kamata. Well, we did expect in this game perhaps to see possession being kept by Albrecht's Negata, but it's nice to see coming forward. Hao Gang. Oh, and that just failed to control the ball. Rafi Sujad. And there's Afflin. Well, they're certainly working on the front foot here. Hafiz. Now Farhan. I've got to say, it's a very bright start indeed. Good to see from Hagan. They are going on the front foot, and that is pleasing I'm sure for their fans we'll could see a few of them watching the game from uh, just outside the stadium we'll see they normally find themselves around supporting the side talking of which we have got 200 fans at our Tampines hub today and a little sort of experiment to see how that will work out for the future oh lovely lovely work there from Imran Hakim one of the two Singaporeans in the side today. Out wide here to Mohaimin. Well, the shot was taken by Nikesh Singh. They're doing all the attacking at the moment. Haugang, good to see. Very good at possession. I'll tell you what, Albrecht have not gotten the ball yet. Kevin Kwok sends it back to Ridwan, his goalkeeper. The only problem is whether they can sustain this kind of intensity throughout. They're up against uh, arguably the fittest team in the league in Albrecht's Nagata. Up to Applin. Well, first time they've tried to put some pressure right up top. Now, trying to lead the attack. And is Applin. That's a really good ball out wide to Mohaimin. Still Mohaimin. Well, he might try to pull the trigger. In the end, it's scrambled away by Kamata. Well, impressive so far from Haugang. And trying to play that down through the middle. Good 
Stephen Clock. They've won the ball back here, Alvarex. Nagasawa. He's got his captain right there, not taking that chance. Traffic Moore trying to make things difficult. Going to get a corner. Kevin Kill not happy with something. Screaming out at his players. Right, now they can get some of the big guns up top. Alberex. Oh well, <laughs> it goes right back to Doi. Plenty of bodies, want them up just outside the area. This will be launched back in, it looks like, by Hashioka. And that is easy for Ridwan. Well, control, I'm afraid, from Shawalanwa. This is very positive from Haugang. Albrecht's slowly trying to get to grips with this. Final time. Good work there from Fabian. He'll be just there screening in front of the back four and trying to break up attacks. Shawel <laughs> trying to head that on and damn, got a little touch on it. Here's Hashioka. Doi. This is what they're very good at. They'll go from side to side. They'll keep possession. Good passing. That was a clever ball and a great turn as well by Doi. No foul. Here's Shawa. That's well read by the defender Takara. Now Farhan looks up for his options. Is it safe to Afik Noor? Kaplan across to Nazo Nazari. Yeah, they certainly could have probably done with uh, Jackie Baliev as an extra option at the back. Well done. It will be massively disappointing, of course, that they have. Uh, faltered in getting a place in the AFC Cup, a competition that they entered for the first time in their history. Bit of a mixed bag, that one for Hagan, but it was their first ever appearance, so kind of enjoyed that experience. Shawal looks up, thought about perhaps trying to bring in Mohamed. Here he is now, Mohamed. It's a good run by Shawal into the penalty area, right across the goal, and that's too close to the goalkeeper, Okawa. Again, promising. Got a little pocket of space there. Sakuma and across to Takada. Now we've got everyone back for Haugang behind the ball, apart from Shawal. He use that pace of his. Sees a good run. There's just too much on that. Fahan isn't going to get to it.
good thing is to see that Hong Kong aren't necessarily defending deeply. Trying to squeeze things at the moment. The only concern of that is, of course, that there are some quick players here in this Arbrox lineup. Touched on by Doi. And uh, we'll get away from Nagasawa. No great rush to take this. We'll read one barred in. Time back to Anna Zaplin. Also a touch on by Fabian Kwok on the turn. Nikesh. Going to be a little bit careful with it's a loose ball in midfield that can be transitioned quickly by Alberex. approach so far by the league leaders who were given a big boost of course when Lion City Sailors held Tampanese Rovers in that massive game in the last round just a few days ago in which uh, Lion City had to win to have any chance of taking the title fight to the last day fortunately they couldn't do the job Afik Noor that's a great looking ball Farhan well, has gone for goal and it's not too far away, it's the first effort on that side, on the left-hand side, Farhan, lively customer. Great work from him, it's a real live wise, one of the, he picked him out as the key player today. Afik Noor, nice ball into him as well. Just cut inside, created a little bit of space for himself, a couple of step overs, every right to go for it. Doi, good work, but he's left himself too much to do. Oh, beginning to hear some of the Haugang Hools just outside the stadium. Oh, it's good, I'm sure, for these guys to hear that. Remember the pre these two met just uh, less than a month ago on the 8th of November. Albrecht with a 4 0 win. It was uh, Haugang's biggest defeat of the season. And that broke a five game winless streak in all competitions against uh, Haugang. In fact, this has been a bit of a bogey team for Albrecht's Nagata. More on that in a while as they come forward here, Albrecht's. to take his time a bit of hesitation there Doi won't get to it Lionel Tan does Kamata trying to dispossess him that's good work from Afik Noor Mata to Nagasawa. Nazwa Nazari plays it out. Fabian, that's too much for Afik Noor. Looked like a far from Nazrul. Not that necessary, but now that means it's a, a free kick in a potentially dangerous area. And 
they've got some big players there. One to maybe watch out for is the big number three, Takada. Lofted in, it should be easy for Ridwan. He grabs hold of it. Here's Afik. Now Hafiz Sujad. Back to Anders Applin. Game has settled a little bit more now, hasn't it? To perhaps how many people thought it might be. With Albrecht now just trying to press a little bit, cause a bit of pressure to win back possession. Haven't had many chances. That's a pleasing thing as far as uh, Hagang are concerned. And I'm sure Tampanese fans would be concerned too. Balls like that, they'll be very happy how gun they've outshot Albrecht at the moment. Two shots, they've had two chances. Yeah. Referee just running up there, little sign that he wants things to be moved quickly along, doesn't want to see time wasting. It's pretty interesting, it's only the 16th minute. Nazar Nazari. Played that back, Kamata. One back nicely by Taniguchi. No foul. Farhan. It's actually a really good ball out to Shawal. Now, he loves running at players, using that speed of his, trickery. Waiting for some support. Never really came. We'll try and get you some score updates uh, when we can. Okawa. Well, let's see what is happening in the league. No goals at the moment. There is a bit of a delay. Tanjan Paga versus Young Lions because of the lightning warning system out there in Jurong East. Three other matches on at the moment. Decent ball in. Oh, that is a block, it looked like. Mohamed, I think, in the way. And Nazrul as well. Here's Nagasawa. Just trying to stretch that Harbrook's defense. And that will be shepherded out by Lionel Tan. They'll be happy with that. He's really trying to take his time, isn't he? Good one. A little second will help. That's a very poor goal kick, I'm afraid. They have got away with it. Here's Lionel Tan. Chase down. 
which is a delight of his teammates. Imran Hakim doing the job. Sawa loses the ball out to Nikesh, who slips that through. Farhan, can he finish it? Oh, he screwed it wide. He was through on a very tight angle, but he had more time than he thought. And that is a key, key moment in this game. Great work from Nikesh. Slipping that ball through, lovely run from Farhan. Did anyone say he had time? because he did have more than he thought. And a few hearts have been broken in Eastern Singapore. Well, that has been by far the best chance of this game. They've just got to keep focused here, Hukong, because that's when Albrex can certainly punish you. Now oh, Nagasawa, much running at players. Well, Hyman with the foul. That's uh, a couple of free kicks they've conceded on this side. And a player like Nagasawa will attract those kind of fouls. Kurishima to take this. Got to keep alert here, Haugang, as it's delightful ball played in and a tight angle. You can see Doi was getting ready to shoot and Applin got it away. Wasn't very happy with the challenge from Doi. Still having a, a bit of a go at him. chance that was, wasn't it, for Farhan Zukifli. Just need a steady head. He is 18. I think we have to be putting that to context. And he was getting regular game time, came back from suspension in the previous game, I was on the bench. Not like he gets loads of starts. Here's Shawal, just trying to slip that in to Nazru, who was making a good run. Got a corner here. Now we've got the likes of uh, Lionel Tan and uh, Anders Applin. They can be very useful at these set pieces. Nikesh should take this. Deep one, very deep. Too much on it. Good work from Anders Applin. He gets another cross in. That's not a bad ball, and it's just over. Shawal Anwar. I've got to say, right now, after 23 odd minutes, it is Haugan who are looking the sharper of the two sides. And they're likely to score the first goal. They are still dangerous, of course, Alberex. <laughs> well, I think we're going to have a. Uh, break here and a chance now for both coaches to have a word about how things are going and I think you'd have to say Clementio will be the happy of the two coaches right now as opposed to Shigatomi guys do look a bit leggy remember they have not made any changes to this side 
Mind you, it's only been a couple changes for Haugang as well. But they're having pockets of space that they can play with on the flanks. Farhan on one side, you've got Shawal that actually drift onto the right hand side at times. Creating all kinds of problems. there by the way going on with that uh, doy and you hermans out on the referee just wonder whether that was because of what was happening with him and and as earlier this is very pleasing as far as uh, as Hagan are concerned mind you in a different kind of scenario it was Tanjung Paga who kept Albrecht at bay for the first half we have a goal by the way in the Eastern Derby, and this is going well for Tampani. This is not going well for Tampanese because Barry Maguire has opened the scoring, the 24th minute for Gelang against Tampanese Rovers. So as good as Haugang have been, well, they need to be getting at least a point, remember. Maguire getting an important goal, with, which means AFC Cup for them, potentially, if they can better whatever happens with Ballester Khalsa today. That's a big, big result. I wonder if that is getting back to Shigatomi. I have to say, I'm not seeing anyone say anything. Nikesh. Afi Sujad, uh, I think he was just slipped over. And as he took that shot, of course, difficult to get the word across when you can't have the phones there, but anyway, all he can do is focus on what is going on here. Now Nagasawa. Right on him. Here's Fabian Kwa. He's got a lot of pressure on him, Nagasawa, whenever he has a ball. Nikesh trying to play Farhan Zukifli through. That's not the first time he's attempted that ball over the top. And nicely done by Nazru Nazari. Looks solid. Good to have someone like Nazru back in the side. Big one has actually had. Precious little to do so far in this game. Ball to uh, Mohaimin. Back to Nazrul. And now Lionel will look to Anders Applin. Offside. Oh, that might look a bit tight. Offside on uh, Mohaimin. got here for Hagan is Fabian Kwok just screens in front of that four. He also slot back into defense and allow Nazari, Nazari, Nazari and Hafiz Shujad to go forward. Nikesh also has some defensive duties as you just saw there. Huge goal for Barry Maguire. Questions as to whether he will stay with Gelang International for next season. He'll be a big, big loss if he goes. One of the most experienced highly qualified players in the SPL, having played with Utrecht in the Eredivisie. He's involved in the Europa League before. And uh, being involved in AFC competition, that's a big one, isn't it, for Gela? It's been a long, long time. Remember them getting to the semi finals of more than 15 years ago. Nagasawa, again, he always has one or two players around him when he's on the ball. 
Here's Kamata. That looked like a late challenge by Nazbu Nazari. Might come back to look at that. There's definitely a foul. Nikesh saying, I've got the ball. He's got a yellow card instead. Well, let's see if he perhaps had a point. But there was certainly looked to be a foul by Nazbu Nazari. There's, well, that's certainly a foul. That's what Shigatobi's pointing out. And he wasn't hauled up for that one. And he didn't even have a word, I don't think, with Nazrul Nazari. Doing quite a few free kicks, haven't they, already? Good work keeping alert. Mohamed couldn't quite control the ball. Well, effortless from Kurishima. Zeppelin. Might just be allowed to go up for a corner. No, it's still alive here for Alvarez. Lovely touch on from Nagasawa trying to play in Doi. A little bit of nerves there, but they've got through with it. Away by Mohaimin, Afik no, good touch on. Now comes Nikesh, she looks up at his options. It's the speed of Shawal. Needed to be a better pass through to him though. But when they are spring, trying to spring the trap like that, they are really dangerous, Haogang. Nazrul. Got away with that one just about, perhaps. Let's see, here's Doi, he's gonna go for goal! Oh, that's the best chance they've had so far. <laughs> Rid one says, I didn't actually make the save, that came off the post. It's gonna be a corner, I'm not sure he touched that. Rid one, if he did, that was a great save. But he himself is saying, I didn't touch it, and it's been overruled, it is gonna be a goal kick. But all you have to do is give Doi a little sniff. And he almost took his chance. Lionel Tan. His ball cannoning off Imran Hakim. Put through. Look at that. Yeah, it's off the post, isn't it? For sure. That was the right call by the referee. It's our first effort, as you can see, and it's taken them more than half an hour to do that. So that is very good as far as Haogang are concerned. A little bit careless. I think Noor's done well. Looking for Shawal. He's got the run. If he needs Shawal! Oh, that was close. Took a flying save there from Okawa. He had an overload as well, took the shot. I think he was entitled to do that. A little bit careless there by Taniguchi. Afik playing him in. Great work by Shawa. Had some really good chances, haven't they, Haogang? Now, can they do something off this corner? The last one was a little too deep from Nikesh. Lionel. Straight in the keeper. And. Morgan Kwok apologizes for colliding with the goalkeeper. Taking some time to get up here. Okawa. Did look a little bit late, I have to say. Do know about Albrecht's they're a very patient side. They're not panicking just yet. Anyway, results are going their way right now. 
with Galen International in front against Tampanese. The ideal scenario, of course, would have come into this day with three teams fighting for the title. Three teams looking for a place in Asia and two teams squaring off to not finish last in the league. Those two teams are, of course, playing. That's Young Lions and Tanjung Paga. We would have had a scenario where the three teams looking for the title were all up against the three teams playing for a place in the AFC Cup. Fortunately, because Lion City couldn't beat the opponents in the last game, Tampi Burgess. And in that scenario, of course, Algon lost to Ballastier as well. And nice to change of passes here. Shot is taken. That's the first save we've seen from Ridwan. Not by Taniguchi with the effort, but again, it wasn't particularly a stretch for him. Fairly comfortable. It was in fact Doi, wasn't it? No real power in that shot. Fabian. Just trying to get down to the path of Farhan. Taniguchi as he's bundled off the ball there by Farhan. This is Fairoz Hassan. He's been pretty quiet out on that uh, the right hand side. Not seen too much of the ball. Heavy touch on by Farhan. Nazrul doesn't get there. Here's Nagasawa. Back to Kamata, puts it into the box. There's a lot of players in front of him. Now, can they come forward? You could see exactly what Mohaiman was trying to do. He saw Shawal ready to pounce. Now go forward, Hafiz Rujad. Too much again on that for Shawal to get on the end of. Doi has got Lionel right there on him. That one shot, two shots in fact, but pretty quiet. Very positive as far as Hagan are concerned. They need more than that, though. They have got a goal. Lion City Sailors against Ballester Kalsa. Two goals, in fact. Charlie Shak and Saifula. This is very good at the moment as far as Gelang International are concerned. Remember, they are winning. They're leading at the moment against uh, Tampanis Rovers. A very good work by the skipper Hashioka. It's going to be a goal kick. In fact, this is the only game right now in the SPR without any goals, as luck would have it. Young Lions are also in the lead against uh, Tanjong Paga. Just run here from the skipper. This has come off him, yeah, clearly. Ashioka, Kari Nadim with the uh, only goal, by the way. Barry Maguire's got that goal for Gelang International. As things stand, it's 
looking very good for Gela. Remember, the news that came through just uh, a couple of days ago is the what happened with Tanjong Paga and fielding, taking off an under-23 player and replacing him with an overage player in the first half, which meant that they effectively put on an ineligible player. And uh, the one nil win that Gaylan got became a three nil win. So they didn't get any more points, but their goal difference has improved. They were only one goal worse. Oh, that's fluked over by Shawalanwa. Another chance for the Gaylan forward, for the Algang forward, excuse me. That's a great ball in, isn't it? From Nikesh. And just going back to the point I was making, that uh, actually Valencia had a much better goal difference. Of uh, three goals better, but now it's just gone down to one. And of course, that one was cancelled out when Maguire scored. And now they've conceded a couple as well. Gela in the driver's seat. Gela need to hold on here, or at least try to get a draw and hope that Panasia can't come back. Oh, that was just the way got away with it. Farhan who puts his up an apology, but makes up for it. Nicely done by Fabian up to Hafiz. Final few minutes of this first half. No goals yet, but it's Haugang who've been the better of the two sides. And Claire got to Mohaimin. Oh, it's a poor ball. He was trying to get that down the line to his teammate Shawal Anwar. Ashioka. Iris just gets a little touch on it. Not enough. Here is Farhan. Now Hafiz. Lovely turn. Nikesh is having a good game. Manatan looks up. Finds Nazrul Nazari. Just enough there, Sakuma. Yeah, Nazbo with the late challenge, I thought. That could easily have been a yellow card. Around here, Taniguchi. Patrick Noor just having a quick drink, talking to his coach. I can just see out these last couple of minutes, and Taniguchi is still saying, What about that ref? Well, it was a bad foul, there's no doubt about it. Some treatment. That's 3 1 now. We, we were last told you it was uh, 2 0. Shime Zuzul has pulled one back for Ballastia. That still may be important in the final count. Actually, after Shimizu was called, there was a there was another goal for Lion City Sailors. We'll get those details for you shortly.
pressure on those defenders there in the Haugang forwards. We've got a couple of minutes to see this first half out. Nazrul. It's just gone out of play. Oh, trying to make a nuisance of himself with that. Uh, and the coach has indicated that there will be a minimum of two minutes. Two minutes about the time here. Lionel Tan does enough to get it away. Now Kamata, final assault perhaps from Albrecht this half. Well, good work here from Mohamed. He's got Nagasawa right on him. He needs support, finds it in Lionel Tan. the ball well here. How gung? Now we'll give it back to Ridwan, who has to get rid of it. And this could be a little chance. Firoz. He's looking out for the goal. What a shot that is. Again, Ridwan equal to the task. Good effort from Firoz. Yeah, fly there. Certainly wouldn't have wanted to concede right before half time. Would have been a bit ironic to have conceded against their old player. <laughs> Corner here. This most likely to be the final bit of play in this first half. Foul in the process as Taniguchi got to the near post to try and flick that across. Not moving particularly comfortably after that challenge from Nazar Nazari, is he? Well, I'm sure once this kick is taken, we will have half time. Well, there we have it. It's been an entertaining first half in which Hong United have been the better side. They've created more. They've had the best chances and probably should have gotten the score sheet. There were a few bright moments for a very patient Albrecht Nagata. They toiled a little bit, didn't they, at the start? Took some time to get into this game. Doi with uh, predictably a couple of efforts. Faro Sasson with one right at the end, but it might be Haugang, who feel that perhaps it should be a scoreline in their favour. However, here at the Haugang Stadium, as it stands, it's Haugang United nil, Albrecht Snigata nil.
are back here at uh, Haugang Stadium for the SPL match. Final day of the season, Haugang United up against Albrecht's Nagata. No goals so far, but there's been a fair bit of goal mouth action in what's been an exciting game up till now. Let's have a look at some of those highlights. It was Haugang who started the far brighter of the two sides. Muhaimin, Shawal, Nikesh and Farhan all showing great movement in coming forward. Here was Muhaimin again. He was always looking for that little pocket of space for Shawal to try and explode this pace. That one was far too close to Okawa, the goalkeeper. It took quite some time to get going for Albarex. This was a great opportunity. Probably one of the best they've had. And Nikesh with a lovely through ball for Farhan Zukifli when he rounded the goalkeeper. Just lost his nerve, I suppose. Got a little too excited there. But Angle was tough for him, could have set himself. Uh, it was a wild attempt in the end, but they looked good at this point. This was the first real chance for Albarex. It took them more than half an hour. Doi, who has racked up the most shots of anyone in the league, more than 70 now, and that's more than double anyone else. Coming off the post in that instance. Doesn't need too many chances, does he? This was great work from Afik. He found Shawal, and this was a wonderful attempt that had Okawa having to scramble across to make the save. He's kept uh, quite a number of clean sheets, remember, Okawa. Seventh clean sheet of the season, more than any other player. This was another attempt from Doi. Again, fairly straightforward for Firas, excuse me, for Ridwan. No real power in that. And he still kept coming forward. This was just looped over. A very good touch on, wasn't it, from Shawal Anwar getting in front of his man. And he just dinked it over the top. Very clever of him getting ahead of Sakuma. This was Firas Hassan with the long range shot. Actually a pretty good one. Plenty of power in it, but uh, again, Ridwan had it more or less covered, didn't he? It wasn't too difficult for him. So it has been encouraging as far as Albrecht's are concerned. They've had far more attempts, as I said, more than double Albrecht's Negatas. Both have had a couple of shots on target. Hagang, though, will feel that they probably should have got the lead by now. But this is good. This result is good for Tampanese Rovers if they are doing better. They can't be well, a draw. Might be enough. Won't be enough, in fact. And Tanjong Paga are playing Young Lions with uh, the only goal from Kyrin there. That was in the 13th minute, Kyrin Nadim. It's goals galore at the Bishan Stadium with uh, Sharali Shak and Saiful Agba giving Lion City Sailors a 2 0 lead. Danish with an own goal for Balestier. Shimez Uzul two minutes later pulling one back. And the only goal in the title, other title match, is Geelong International's Barry Maguire has scored against Tampanese Rovers. What that means now. As things stand, there you go. Albarex, despite not getting any goals here, two ahead of Tampanes Rovers and Lion City Sailors. Well, their game has uh, no bearing on this. Though the fourth spot, the fourth spot right now is going to Geelong International. That's important because of the AFC competition, the final spot up for grabs. So this is where it stands here at Haugang Stadium. Uh, no goals between Haugang United and Albrecht Nagata. We'll be back with the second half.
back at the Haugang Stadium. The SPL match between Haugang United and Albrecht's Negata. This is a title match. Albrecht's already came into this game a point ahead of Tampanese Rovers, who are losing at the moment to Geelong International. And even if they get that draw out of it, they'll both be on 29 points, but the goal difference will be Albrecht's Negata's favor. Remember, Geelong can afford to lose that game, because they may be out of AFC contention. Again, it will all come down to goal difference. No goals in this match as of now, but we are seeing a change, a couple of changes in fact. The big striker, Rio Nishiguchi, is coming on. And will be joined by Rio Mitsuzuka. And I have a feeling it is both the Singaporean players who are being uh, taken off. Iman Hakim and Fairos Hassan will just confirm that for you. Doesn't look like that from my vantage point. And so we'll have that for you in just a short while. I think it is going to be indeed to bring something different to the table, wouldn't he? Nishiguchi. there with the officials. It is indeed Mitsuzuka's on for Fairos. And Iman Hakim is uh, quite used to both of them actually had their moments, didn't they, in that First half. Confirmation of those changes there on your screen and I'm trying to just beef up that attacking lineup. Two changes we have, nothing from Haugang, and no need to really, they've been playing pretty well. So Mr. Zawa should be slotting in up top. It looks like, uh, yeah, he'll be up top with Doi. And uh, on the left-hand side of attack will be Rio, though he can go into a more central area as well, if required. So he's taken Faros Hassan's place. Rio try to keep that alive, it's a goal kick. One call into action a couple times. I wouldn't say there were massive saves to make, but he did what was required. Here is Nishiguchi. It's 
Tampano's just beginning to set here. Is it setting as well on Tampani's hopes of a first title since 2013? Still a lot of football to come. They do need to get something out of that game against Geelong International. They need to win, really. Here we go, they're colliding with uh, Nazrul. You might just be able to hear some of those Haugang Hools fans. They will make their presence felt as this continues. They had the better of the chances, didn't they, in that first half. Lionel Tan pumps that forward. Takada in the way. Oh, and just getting past. Doi got past up. Javian Kwok there. Rio wanted the ball. Nasu Nazari in the way. Foul on Mohamed. Anders Applin. You can see he was just waiting for Shawa to make that run. Farhan also very quick. Nagasawa. Plenty of pace about him as well. Here's Nichiguchi. Applin does well. What we've got now is Mitsuzawa has come onto this right-hand side. Yeah, Clever Joe's not happy with that. <laughs> Comes storming out of his area and then referee in charge there. He got it right. Well, that wasn't a great challenge. It's actually a very poor one, Mitsuzawa. Mitsuzuka, excuse me. Yeah, Mitsuzuka's on this right-hand side now, where Faraz was earlier. Hafiz Sujad comes forward. He's got options, maybe a little bit too much to do for Farhan. And Sakuma tidies up. trying to, s you can see, trying to set free Shawal and Farhan. Here's Afik. There's another foul. <laughs> oh, that's what Taniguchi felt anyway. Rio. Nagasawa wanted an earlier ball in. Still Rio. Kurishima. That comes off his own player, Nagasawa. Fabian clears. Just trying to crank up the pressure here. Alvarex. And I think that's just prompted Clement Teo to come out of his dugout. Talking to, I think, Afik Noor there. Yeah, they just want to nip this in the bud, don't they, uh, Haugang? Just feel a bit of a resurgence from Arborex. Yeah, it's now Nagasawa has gone up top with Doi. With Rio on the left and Mitsusuka on the right hand side.
Here's Sakuma. Played a quick ball onto Doi. He was trying to get that to Nagasawa. Here's Doi. Oh, they've got the goal. They found the way through. Didn't think it, anything was on. Taniguchi. Has curled that in past Ridwan Baradin. And they are now certainly up with the three points and looking good for the title with Still a good 40 odd minutes, but Tampanese, remember, down against Geelong International. And Taniguchi, how crucial could that goal be in the final reckoning? Didn't seem that anything was on here. That was poor from Nazrul Nazari. Gave the ball to Doi. Might have even taken a slight deflection of Taniguchi's shot. We may get a better idea here. What was he thinking there, Nazar Nazari? Poor clearance. Yeah, I think there may well have been a little, little deflection. Well, that is huge, isn't it? Ryoya Taniguchi's goal. As of now, just consolidates their position. Shigatomi though has still plenty of time in this game. It will be nervy, that's for sure. They'll be annoyed at themselves though. He's gone for goal as well now. The new man in, Mitsuzuka. By the way, we can say there's some couple other goals in the Young Lions game. It's not half time there. There were two goals right at the end of it. Ryan Stewart. And then on the 45th and then the 47th, Ilhan Fandi. that uh, Tanja Paga will go through the season as the first side to ever finish a campaign without a win. Though to be fair, it is a very much a truncated campaign. Here's Afik. Now Farhan. They do look a better unit, don't they, in this second half. Even Kwok. Oh, lovely work from Nikesh. Great turn from him. Fabian. There's a shot on. Oh, it's not all that far away from Muhaimin. Yeah, I think they'd have been right to go for that one. Lovely work. And again, Nikesh really made that move, didn't he? was uh, a little bit of a soft goal, the one to concede. Oh, good, nice combination there, Hashioka and Mitsuzuka. Gets the cross in up to Ryo Nishiguchi. Here comes Kamata. Oh, lovely from him. With a bit of a chop. Lionel Tan with the header away. They're a bit under pressure now, aren't they, Alberex? Afik Noor. Here's Fabian. Again, it falls kindly. Couple of blocks. 
Got to get themselves set here. Oh, Gunk, facing quite a bit of pressure. Farhan. Just wonder whether we're going to see any changes. Traffic oh. Danny. Dana Martis would be the obvious attacking options. Dani Gucci's goal that separates these two sides. Could be all that's needed. Fourth goal this season, Taniguchi. As I mentioned, how important will that be at the end of it all? Here's Anders Applin. Credit, Albrechts are not just sitting back here, they are looking for the second. Kamata, took a bit of a deflection that one. This will be a corner, they're very happy the ball's up this end at the moment. Now, this is where they could be susceptible. A lot of big players here in Albarax's ranks. It's fired over. Again, I go back to the fact that they haven't had too many really good opportunities here, Albarax. The difference is they have taken their chance. Still 1 0 in that big game, Eastern Derby, between uh, Gelang International and Lion City Sailors. Three, sorry, Gelang International and Tampines Rovers. 3 1 Lion City Sailors and Ballester Kalsa. As things stand, the title will go to Albert Nagata. And the final AFC, spot cup, AFC Cup spot goes to Gelang International. Kamata. Now Sakuma. We have a touch on by Doi. I'm just dropping a little bit here. Taniguchi. Away by Applin. They're just beginning to lose that midfield battle, aren't they? How gunk? Yeah, that attacking verb as well. And it's gone. But here is Shawal. He comes forward, looking for support, trying to get, bring in Farhan. That was actually really good work by Taniguchi. Here's Rio Nishiguchi on the byline. Good work from him. And equally, Fabian Kwok was tracking that. But it does seem 
a little bit of a rear guard action at the moment from the home side. He's just had a bit of a knock there, Kurishima. Another goal, and that you would feel the way this is going would settle things for Alborex and then we'll certainly condemn Tampoli's Rovers well, we do know of course that they have scored the opening goal in eight of their last nine matches now it makes it nine in ten Surprises that they have done that. Also, Tanjong Paga, sorry, Haogang have also conceded first. And they've done that quite a lot in their most recent matches. And they conceded the first goal in the last five now it's six I've also kept just one clean sheet in this whole season actually in all competitions including AFC they've just kept one clean sheet in 16 matches that is the problem isn't it Got to watch things, no need to get upset, watch their temper, concentrate on the football. Shawa and Mohaimin focus on the game. We saw Kielang International lose their heads the other day against Young Lions and it almost cost them. Coming off the current is up now. Really, Shawa, that was unnecessary and could easily have been booked for that. Johan Zaitan having a word. Maybe quite lucky there, to be honest with you. Could have been booked or worse. Now, Lionel Tan to play a ball into the area. It's stood up, and there's some very big players. Not easy. Well, how gone? Yeah, they've barely threatened in the second half, have they? Certainly a very different feel to this game now. Well, we have got a goal back for Tanjong Paga. Luis Junior has scored a penalty. He's having a little Renaissance towards the end of the season. He's now six goals for the Brazilian. Well, it's been one of the few bright sparks for Tanja Baga, not exactly known for scoring goals. And again, neither are young lines, so they've got three today, which is impressive. Talking of goals, will we see one here from Haugo? Make things a little interesting. A racing forward there 
Mitsuzuka. Now Nishiguchi. Nagasawa on that left hand side. Nishiguchi. That comes off Afik. Doi. And it's straight at red one. They put the ball out of play. There is a man down. Sick as Fabian Kwok. This is a chance for Doi. He said, he said he's racked up more shots than anyone else in the league. More than 70 of them. And the next best. Uh, Tampanese Kopitovic and Balestiers Krajcek. Well, we're having the drinks break right now as uh, treatment is being given to the captain. This is the goal. It looked perhaps, perhaps, Afik Noor got a little touch on it, but I don't want to take anything away from Taniguchi's goal. Will this give us a bit more of an idea? look like anything was wrong the way the ball is turning just feels like it might have that won't matter at all to Albrecht's Nagata they are in front and they are looking good at the moment for their fourth top tier title in Singapore football yeah it is Fabian Kwok who's receiving the treatment and it is not looking positive at the moment for him I just wonder whether we would think of bringing Someone else on. Looks like he's going to be okay. And he's screening, as we said, in front of the back four. He's just t testing it out. Now, if he's not good, what will they do? Will they tr try and take a gamble and bring on someone like a Shafiq Gunny? And shift things around a little bit. Yeah, I just heard Shafik being called. Two players, in fact. Trying to couldn't quite get the first name. Yeah, it's Fai Saleh and Shafik Gunny who are going to be coming on shortly. Yeah, I think Shafiq was probably going to come on at some point anyway. For added firepower. And perhaps Fai's now because of what's just happened with, with Fabian. odd minutes left in this game as things stand and I'll keep repeating this of course because of just the nature of what's happening today Albrecht's Nagata are on their way to another SPL title unless unless something special happens not just here from Haugang but also at our Tampanese hub Faisal is the first to come on I think it should be Fabian it is indeed now. Substitution for Haugang United. Number 12, Fabian Wong is being replaced by number 17, Faiz Saleh. So now, Faiz Saleh, I'm assuming, just sits. Or will it be Afik Noor who just drops back? It does look like it's Afik. Let's keep an eye on that one. There is Faiz. Now, 
No, Nazar Nazari. That's probably too much for Muhaimin. Fies has won the ball back here. Nikesh. Here's Hafiz Sujad. Farhan has been quiet this second half. Goes out wide towards Muhaimin. Looks up now. These kind of balls always going to be hard. Kept alive by Hafiz Sujad. Always going to be difficult from there. I think they've just put the Shafigani change on hold. Still 1 0 to Geelong International against uh, Tampanese Rovers at our Tampanese hub, which is great for Albrecht and great for Geelong, of course. No real hurry now, Albrecht, so you can't blame them either. This is a bit harder, isn't it, for Haugang without their foreign players. They really have a much thinner squad. Hafiz. It's good work from Afik. Now Nikesh goes out wide to Nazar Nazari. Haven't seen many of those storming runs that he's well known for with his pace. Have to be a little bit more conservative. Afik. Safik got a little touch on that. Look at the size difference between Nazrul and Ryo Nishiguchi. They're asking for a goal kick. Sorry, they're asking for a corner. It's going to be a goal kick. Clementino's <laughs> not impressed with that at all. I think it's just a bit of frustration, really. The side have been. Very quiet in the second half. To be fair, Ridwan has actually not had that much to do either, apart from picking the ball out of the back of his goal. It's not like there have been loads of chances. Oh, a bit of a miss kick here. For Mitsuzuki, Mitsuzuka, and again, sailed well over. They've not been too worried about these sort of chances. Interesting to see only two changes have been made with just 15 minutes left. And those, sorry, two on two for Albrex, one for Haugang with uh, Price Sully coming on for Fabian Kwok. They try to pile some numbers on. Want to send it forward. Here's Afik. I think the problem with sending these aerial balls is that they have a very short forward lineup. Faiz. Great work from him again. Out wide. Nikesh. Muhaimin. Yeah, these are the kind of balls that are very difficult. Well, they're forward. They'd rather go into channels and ball to feet. Here's Hafiz. Now Farhan. Lovely work from him. Back to Hafiz. Try to slip it through. And oh, that just fell apart from Muhaimin. But promising. That is better. That's the kind of attack they need. Bit of a patient approach. Referee, by the way, Johan Zaiton is just saying 
as well. See the goalkeeper, Okawa, he needs to get on with it. He's got more clean sheets than anyone else. Nine shots to ten, most of them have been pretty wild ones. Shiguchi. Here's Kamata. So far, Saleh is the one, in fact, sitting in front of the fort, basically taking on Fabian Kwok's role. Yeah, I was just a bit surprised that we're not seeing Shafiq Mani just yet. Here's Shawal. Waiting for some support. Again, those kind of balls are not going to cause problems to this Albrecht's defense. Here's Hashioka. He's got Hafiz Suja in front of him. He does enough. Right, now we are going to see Shafiq Ghani come on. That's good. That's a positive move from Clement Yo. Who will they take off? I would think probably Muhaimin. Maybe partner Shaul Anwar. Let's see. I would think it's Muhaimin. Farhan still has, possesses a real attack threat at times. He's got the pace as well. Touch on there from the diminutive Mitsuzuka. Here's Doi. Mitsuzuka, back to Doi. Right across the goal, and it's easy enough. No problems there. Touch on from uh, Taniguchi. Good ball up towards uh, Shawal. That's always going to be easy, as I said. Keep saying it. It's one all, by the way, at our Tampanese hub. Is there still a sting in this tail? Tampanese Rovers will make things interesting. Now, <laughs> they need Alvarex to do them a favor here. And they're about to bring on an attacker. Remember, if they get that one point, they need Albrecht to lose. So we need <laughs> to see if uh, Haugan can get two goals. Not an easy prospect for a side that has struggled to score this season. There we go. It's Bayhaki Kaizan who's got the goal in the 79th minute. And it is going to be Mohaiman who's going to be substituted. Shafiq Ghani to come on. Substitution for Haugang United, number 20, Mohamed Suhaimi, being played by number 7, Shafiq Ghani. Well, he's certainly more goal-oriented. Right now, Albrechts are coming forward. They committed a lot of players forward. And that's fired over by Doi. They were just a bit stretched there, Haugang. Well, I think we're going to have a little bit of drama now towards the end. If Haugang get a goal here, it will be a grandstand finish to this season. If Tampanese get a goal as well, it could be interesting. Remember, a draw is enough for Alborex. Out wide. This is Nagasawa. This good work from Afik Noor. Nishiguchi. They're very good at keeping the ball when they need it, when they need to. In this Albrecht side. Ah. 
Huffick. Ball is in the wrong part of the field for them. No foul. Here's Shawal. Now Hafiz. Just had a little slip. He's got away with that. Out to Farhan Zukifli. Oh, they're going to commit a few more going forward now. Well, they're getting a, a free kick here. Well, that's rather interesting. Now, remember what we were saying about aerial balls, just difficult for this Hong Kong side. But they have got rights of Lionel Tan, who gets on the end of it, and that will be easy for Okawa. Starting to run out here for everyone concerned. Let me wait for this. Let's see if there's any other updates. Matteo. Remember, he's not actually playing for very much at the moment. It's 4-1, by the way, Lion City Sailors. They've just got a goal. Song Wei Young against Palace Khalsa. That's still working out very nicely for Geelong International. I think they are pretty much through with the goal difference now. Oh, there's a foul there on Farhan by Hashioka. That didn't look great, I've got to say. So while we await this, yes, uh, he's receiving treatment, Farhan. Have a look at what happened. I think he just trod on him, was it on his Achilles? It didn't look great, didn't get a booking either. He's not happy here, Clemente, he feels that more punishment should be given. away by Applin. Here's Doi. Nishizawa. Nagasawa, excuse me, and it yeah, doesn't do well there. Get on with it, red one. Enough is. Completely missed that one, Faiz. Wasn't a great goal kick to start with. Nazar Nazari. Here is Shawal. He needs to be further up. He's just not getting the ball, is he? At all in the second half. Very hard for him. Now Lionel. I wonder if they'll think about pushing him further forward in his final few moments. Well, their priority is, of course, to try and get something out of this game. The flag has gone up for offside on Nishiguchi. Yeah, Shafik has gone into more central role. It's uh, Shawal out on that. On that wide role. Lionel to Applin. Nice ball back uh, from Hafez Shujad. There'll be another change coming up for Haugang. Faiz. Here's Nazrul. And now Shawal back to Nazrul. Not really too many options for him. Lionel. There's a lot of work for Shafik to do here. 
Oh, lovely turn. I'm not sure that was a foul, to be fair. Substitution for Honda United, number 34, Farhan Zulfisli, is being placed by number 16, Justin Hui. Justin Hui, who scored for the opening goal against Palace in the last game, replaces Farhan. He'll be on this uh, left hand side. Afik away. Now Fais. Tries to get that ball up to Shawa. That was telegraphed, wasn't it? Couldn't quite control it to Kamata. Needs to be another goal. Either here from Haugang or from Tampanis Rovers. We don't have much time left. Otherwise, the title will return to Albrecht Nagata after a year away when it was with Brunei DPMM. Nikesh, up to Nazrul. Anders Applin looks up. He's got Hafiz Shujad in front of him. Run by Justin Hui. He allows Ashioka to get in front of him. Yeah, they're just not as crisp with the passing, are they, in this second half? Shafigani won't get there. But it's hurriedly cleared just to be safe by Okawa. Still one all Tampanese Rovers. It's Geelong International. Now they've given the ball away. Here comes Nishiguchi. They're backing off, but easy for Ridwan. Done by Nikesh. It's slightly quieter in the second half. That's never gonna be an easy ball. Not even if you're Shawal Anwar with his pace. He had a little warning in the first half with the goal kick of Kawa. Only three minutes of out of time. Three minutes away from another league title for Albrecht's Nagata. And we quickly turn our attentions to our Tampanis hub, where it's still one all. As things stand, it will be Albrecht's Nagata who will take the 2020 title unless something extremely dramatic now happens in these next few minutes. Here's Faisale. Up to Justin Hui. Hafiz Sujad. Was there a foul? No, says the referee. Lionel Tan. Forward by Nikesh, that's a good ball. Shafegani, can he pull the trigger? Oh, he's fired it over. The chance is gone. Their best chance of the second half. Shafik just over the crossbar. It's a lovely ball from Nikesh. He let it bounce a couple of times. The angle was getting more and more acute. And by the time he took the shot, well, it just became that much harder for him. But it was a good effort nonetheless. Anyway, just to remind you, even if it was a draw, it would not be enough for Tampley's Rovers. We have a change here. A late, late change.
Mahiro Takahashi. He's on for Nagasawa. What a ball that was from Mikesh. And it's happening, looks like he's joining the attack. They get a foul, now they'll pile some bodies forward. Remind you again, even if they get an equalizer here, it wouldn't be enough. It is still one all at our Tampanese hub. Still would make things a little bit more interesting if they can get a goal. Surely not going to go from here. That's flicked over. And that could well be it. I think it is all over here. Referee wants the keeper to get on with it. We can understand why they are taking their time here. No great hurry at whatsoever. The referee puts a whistle to his lips, and that is it. Albrex Nigata have won this match, and they have taken the 2020 Singapore Premier League title. Another fantastic performance. Over this year, a very difficult year for everyone concerned. But Albrecht Nagata have shown that quality when it mattered most. Shigatomi gets a congratulations of Clement Yo. Doesn't really matter now what happens in the other game. He just had to win. And they've done the job. There was perhaps some drama, potential for drama at the end. But the only goal that separates the two sides is from Ryoya Taniguchi in the 53rd minute. No real celebrations just yet. But I'm sure there will be. A job done against Haugang United. Uh, a very feisty and a very able Haugang in the first half, but they just didn't have enough in the tank in the second. They've gone over to get the plaudits from their fans. I think they put up a really good fight in the first 45. They held off as much as they could, really. They only presented Albrecht Nagata with just one or two decent opportunities. Now the smiles are coming on their faces. They can celebrate as they just get off the pitch. It's been a thoroughly professional performance from this Albrecht Nagata side, champions in 2016, champions in 2017, champions in 2018, and they're now champions again in 2020, in this truncated season because of COVID-19. The other game, just finishing off at our Tampines hub. The Tampines Rovers knew they needed a bit of a help, a bit of help from uh, Albrecht's Nigga from uh, Haugang United today. And what's great to see, by the way, is that there are some Albrecht's Nigata fans as well, just outside the stadium. They're here to celebrate. Good to see fans from both sides. There's some cheerleaders as well. There you go. Great scenes. And in these very odd and complicated times, Good to see the fans. More on that in a while. Here are the highlights of this match. It was a very good start from Haugang, who came at Albrecht, took the game to them. This was a great chance. Nikesh, for me, probably man of the match. He created some of the best opportunities for Albert, for Haugang. That one putting Farhan through. This was the best chance, I think, for Albrecht in the first half, oh, coming off Doi, their top scorer this season. Sh Shawal here with a lovely effort on the turn. I think, to be fair, the keeper Okawa always had it covered. He's had yet another clean sheet. 
Doy with a pretty straightforward shot at Ridwan Baradin. Now, this was a cheeky dink over by Shawal. Almost got it in, and that, that's why I'm saying that they were probably the better of the two sides. Not probably, they were the better two sides. Faris Hassan with a, a late strike. That was, again, well covered by Ridwan. This was the goal given away, really, by Nazrul Lazari. I think he was attempting to clear that. It came to the path of Taniguchi. May have got slight deflection of Hafiz. That doesn't matter. He's credited with the goal. And that's the only one that we had in this game. Surely didn't need to pass that to Doi, of all people. He just laid it up for Taniguchi. His fourth goal of the season. And boy, how important would that be? Well, as the night wore on, Arborex started to pile on the efforts, but again, not too many of them caused problems for Ridwan and the Haugang defense. And this was the best of the bunch outside of the goal, waiting and waiting, Doi, but in the end, a good position, but he could only fire over. And this was a lovely ball into the path of Shafigani. Maybe just let it go across him. A little too much. And that is how the table ends. Albrecht and Nagata are the champions by three points ahead of Tampanese Rovers, who only could get a draw. Lion City Sailors have thrashed Balasa Khalsa, and the all important fourth spot goes to Gelang International. They will go to the AFC Cup group stages. They pip Balasa Khalsa on the final day. And Young Lions have beaten Tanjong Paga. So they will finish in seventh. And I'm afraid Tanjong Paga United are the first side to have gone through an entire campaign without a win to their name. And let's just confirm here the score for you at the Haugang Stadium. Albrecht's Nagata have not only beaten Haugang United by goal to nil, they're also your new SPL champions. Test, test, udo, 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 test, you can? Yeah. Okay, boleh. <laughs> okay, coach, uh, was it a fair result or do you think you should have gotten something from the game? <laughs> I mean, uh, 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 in all honesty, I, I mean, naturally we felt that we, we, we could have uh, uh, done something. Yeah, uh, we had our chances. It, it's basically, uh, uh, we were playing very well. We were dominating the game in the first half. And, and uh, uh, if we could have uh, finished our chances, which uh, unfortunately for a young kid like Fahan is a very good experience for him. Yeah, but uh, overall, I, I, I am very pleased with uh, uh, the performance of my players. But of course, I've got to give credit to Aberex. I mean, they, they, they have done well all season. They have been very consistent. Yeah. And, uh, what are your overall thoughts on your team's performance throughout the season? I mean, look, uh, overall, for the season, yes, uh, 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 we, we set a target, we didn't meet a target at all. Naturally, everyone is very disappointed. But I, I think that uh, uh, there's, there's a lot of room for improvement. Uh, basically, this team is, if you watch the game, uh, they basically did very well. And uh, it is something that uh, I would like to have next year. Right, thank you, Coach. Thank you. Glenn, 
What does this mean for your team? Overall performance for the whole season? The whole season. Your team? Ah, two, two, two guys. Yeah. What does this mean to your team? The fourth title? Fourth title? Ah, fourth yeah. title? Yeah. Ah, fourth title. Yeah. So what does this mean? Uh, Uh, congratulations for winning your fourth title. How much does this mean to the, for the club? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we are Japanese team. Uh, we are allowed to join the SPL. And then we, so we have to show all people we are a good team. And uh, even off the pitch, attitude, behavior. So this is uh, important things. Uh, what are your overall thoughts on your team's performance this season? Yeah. Uh, it was a very tough season. However, finally, We got title, so we are so happy today. All right, thank you, congratulations. Thank you very much. Coach, sign Jesse, coach. are back at uh, Haogang Stadium. The final round of the 2020 season has come to a close. Haogang United have lost to Albrecht's Nagata by a single goal thanks to Ryota Taniguchi's strike in the 53rd minute. And uh, we will have the prize giving ceremony in the trophy presentation shortly as we get all that sorted out. A reminder that as we came into this final day there were two teams in contention for the title one of them was here Abrox Nagata and the other one was Tampanese Rovers they had to better the result here of course if as long as Abrox won then that would be impossible they were needing a favor from Haogang United who came close has to be said on various occasions And also, they needed to beat, or at least do well against uh, Gelang. And by all accounts, unable to do better than just the one goal from Bahaki Kaizan in reply 
to Barry Maguire's earlier goal. And these are your results, again, just to reiterate. 1-0, Albrecht's Negata defeating Haugang, of course, here at the Haugang Stadium. Tanjung Paga United against Young Lions at Jurong East. That was to see who finished bottom of the table. Young Lions scoring four goals. That is unusual, isn't it? But uh, Tanjung Paga have had a tough old time. 5-2 winners. Lion City Sailors against Ballester Kalsa and one all ended between Tampanese Rovers and Gelang International. And that is how the table looks and how it ends for the 2020 campaign with Albrecht Nagata winning it by three points in the end. Ten wins, two draws, two losses and an 18 plus 18 goal difference. Tampanese Rovers will go to the AFC Champions League as the highest placed local side. That will be interesting to see as well. Lion City Sailors, the high-flying Lion City Sailors, with all the resources that they have, finish third. And this is kind of a transitional season, to be fair to them. And they will be in the AFC Cup competition they're very familiar with. These are the highlights, by the way, of this match here at Haugang Stadium, where Haugang started very brightly indeed. And for me, the better side in the first half. Nikesh setting up Farahanya has got to do better. Took the ball away from the keeper, then sort of lost his cool a little bit and smashed the ball when he had time. This was the best opportunity for Alberex with Doy hitting the post. He really didn't have too many opportunities. Afik Noor set up Shawa with a great chance here. Had the goalkeeper scrambling Okawa. And then... This was a pretty innocuous effort from Doi to rid one. This was another effort from Shawal with a cheeky little dink over the keeper. And Faris Hassan with a late strike for Alberex. Again, rid one had that covered. Rid one really didn't have to make massive saves in this. But this was the goal. And it was from Taniguchi off, I have to say, a mistake from Nazrul Nazari. Nazrul's got to do better with that clearance. Doi setting up for Taniguchi. And that would be the only goal of the game. Not really too many other clear cut chances. Shamadoy firing over. This was a wonderful, wonderful chance for Shafiq Ghani. Again, it wouldn't have made a difference in the end. Because Tampa's Rovers failed to win their game. Right. We're going to get a little bit of match reaction here. Let's hear from Clemento of Haugang United. Hey coach, uh, was it a fair result or do you think you should have gotten something from the game? <laughs> I mean, uh, 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 in all honesty, I, I mean, naturally we felt that we, we, we could have uh, uh, done something. Yeah, uh, we had our chances. It, it's basically, uh, uh, we were playing very well. We were dominating the game in the first half. And, and uh, uh, if we could have uh, finished our chances, which... Uh, unfortunately, for a young kid like Fahan, it's a very good experience for him. Yeah, but uh, overall, I'm, I'm, I am very pleased with uh, uh, the performance of my players. But of course, I've got to give credit to Abrex. I mean, they, they, they have done well all season. They have been very consistent. Yeah. And, uh, what are your overall thoughts on your team's performance throughout the season? I mean, look, uh, overall, for the season, yes, uh, 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 we, we set a target. We didn't meet a target at all. Naturally, everyone is very disappointed. But I, I think that uh, uh, there's, there's a lot of room for improvement. Uh, basically, this team is, if you watch the game, uh, they basically did very well. And uh, it is something that uh, I would like to have next year. 
So the thoughts there of uh, Clement Yeo. And ultimately, he'll look back at it as a season that started with so much promise. In the AFC Cup, they'd had their highest ever finish in the SPL last season. They found it hard in the AFC. And they lost uh, their foreign signings as the season progressed. Stipe Plazibad, of course, moved to Lion City Sailors. Great scenes there as we see the Albrex players basking in the glory. Many of these guys, of course, very young, haven't played football at this kind of level, and they have a title to their name. It is uh, a very special thing, of course. And, of course, we do know with the nature of Albrecht's Nagata that many of these guys won't be here next season. They move on to other clubs, sometimes to Japan or elsewhere. And there's the, the team, the team that has really made this club so special. Four titles in five years. That's how good they've been. Albrecht's Nagata. Four league titles, by the way. They've also won the League Cups. They've won three League Cups. They've won three... Effectively, FA Cups. They've won three Community Shields. This year, the Community Shield, of course, went to Tampa's Rovers at the start of the season when they beat Haugang 3-0. What a very different Haugang that was, wasn't it? But certainly, you've got to look back at just the consistency of how they approach things. This Albrecht side who are methodical, they place a lot of emphasis on fitness. And what's great as well, of course, in the last couple of years is they've integrated
the juggernaut really of Singapore football that is Albrecht's Nagata these days fourth title as I said in five years the last local side to win a title was Warriors in 2014 And uh, next to Mr. Lim Kiato, of course, is Daichi Koi Korinaga, the chairman of Albrecht's Nagata. And he will be so happy once again that his side have done it. Now for the presentation of the trophy to Kazuki Hashioka, the skipper of. Albrecht's Nagata. First of all, the winner's check of $150,000. Care of AIA, the champion's check. Daisuke Korinaga will be I'm sure very happy with that influx of money coming in into the club. I'm sure the players will get some of that as well. And here we go. Kazuki Hashioka, skipper of Albrecht's Nagata. The team, they want him over there with the trophy, don't they? Here we go. He's going to go over to his side, I'm sure. They're getting ready. And your champions of the AIA Singapore Premier League 2020. It's Alborex Nagata. Celebrating, I'm afraid, in an empty stadium. That's how things are in 2020. But. They are worthy winners of this trophy yet again. Albrecht's Nagata, their fourth league title in five years. There is the coach, Keiji Shigatomi, who deserves a lot of the credit as well. And he comes over now to grab that silverware with his team. Lovely scenes here at the Haugang Stadium. I'm sure there will be celebrations somewhere, socially distanced, of course. And Alberex claim yet another title. What a great few years it's been for this club. It all started 2011 when they won the League Cup. And then in 2016, or 2015, it all began again with the League Cup and Singapore Cup. And then their first league title in 2016. Looks like they all want to be able to raise it up and no one jumped up there with Takeda, who has been a real rock at the back. How many of these guys will be with the club next season? We often see many of them moving on. That's the nature of Albrecht's Nagata. Remember, many of these players, most of these players are 21 and below, and they're getting the staff involved as well. This is lovely to see, really lovely touching gesture they're all part of it remember that it's not just the players on the pitch it's the backroom staff it's everyone involved with the club which has been by far the most successful club in the last few years right, <laughs> Ryo Sakuma showing his affection for everyone concerned and so there we have it your champions one more time to lift the trophy why not fourth league title fourth lift of the trophy very appropriate and that brings to an end a, a, a rather difficult year not just in football but in so much else COVID-19 has struck struck the world hard Singapore has done a pretty good job of it we had a truncated season and we're happy to have even got the 14 games in no DPMM, but we still managed to finish two rounds. And from all of us here, thank you so much for joining us, not just tonight, but 
throughout this shorter season. Thank you for supporting us. And we look forward to seeing you again, hopefully with a full season in 2021. From me, Shazad Haq, and the team here at the Haugang Stadium, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next year. <laughs>